Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Oh, we have to do this? Okay, WWDB, Philadelphia. From ABC News, I'm Joe Vaughn. Weekending in California, President Reagan came down from his mountaintop retreat near Santa Barbara for an award ceremony Sunday evening in Los Angeles. The president was given the highest award of the Simon Wiesenthal Center. Here's ABC's Gene Mazur. The Wiesenthal Center is the largest Jewish membership organization in the country and has chosen this year to give its highest honor to the president because of his commitment to Israel, his defense of human rights, and his work on behalf of Soviet Jewry. The president used the occasion to get in a few good words for his choice in the presidential campaign. Though he didn't mention George Bush by name, the president listed the ways in which the current administration has strengthened its ties with Israel, with a hint that a vote for George Bush is a vote for Israel. I'll have more after this. Hello. The very fact that you've tuned into this program tells me something important about you, that you've got interest beyond the narrowly personal, that you're intrigued by the world at large. I'm Earl Fell, Editor-in-Chief of the Christian Science Monitor and of its new monthly magazine, World Monitor. And I'd like to introduce you to World Monitor by inviting you to call today for a free trial copy. World Monitor is a magazine of news and commentary, global, far-sighted, scrupulously balanced, full of energy and color, with lively features on everything from world leaders to social trends, investments to sports. I think you'll be amazed at how thoroughly it satisfies your need to know what in the world is going on. Call 800-637-2000 for your free issue of World Monitor. Then, if you're satisfied, pay just $14.97 for the next 11 issues. A full year in all, half off the regular price. 800-637-2000. The World Monitor. 800-637-2000. With little more than a week remaining in the presidential campaign, Governor Michael Dukakis on Sunday acknowledged that he is a liberal, but a liberal, as he put it, in the tradition of Franklin Roosevelt, Harry Truman, and John Kennedy. The word liberal has become an issue in the campaign. With a special report, here's ABC's Peter Jennings. Ideology plays an important part in winning mainstream America. George Bush tries to paint Michael Dukakis as a disciple of the liberal left by making issues out of such things as the governor's position on the Pledge of Allegiance and his membership in the ACLU. I'm not questioning his patriotism. He goes out and says, man is questioning my patriotism. And then all the liberal columnists join in. I am not. I am questioning his judgment. Michael Dukakis sees it differently. Of course the Vice President is questioning my patriotism. I don't think there's any question about that. And I resent it. I resent it. Tomorrow at this time, how the candidates stand on their running mates. I'm Peter Jennings for ABC News. The directors of Kraft Incorporated have approved the three, uh, $13.1 billion merger offer from tobacco giant Philip Morris. The director of corporate communication for Philip Morris, Tom Rickey, expects good things to come from the merger. We have joint high hopes of um, uh, with General Foods and Kraft as our food businesses of being a major competitor, not only in the U.S., but uh, worldwide with such foreign giants as Nestle and Unilever. If the shareholders and the federal government approve, it would be the second biggest acquisition in U.S. history, topped only by the $13.3 billion merger four years ago involving Gulf Oil and Chevron. The Boston Globe says the return of the 65 mile per hour speed limit in many states has led to the uh, substantial increase in the number of traffic deaths. The Globe says an unpublished study conducted for the Federal Department of Transportation shows an increase of 18 percent in the number of traffic deaths on rural interstates last year. The Globe says two other privately financed studies showed similar results. Japanese news reports say two U.S. military helicopters have collided in a training flight over in Okinawa, sending one of the choppers to the ground while the other landed safely. There are no reports of casualties as yet, but the Chinook helicopter is capable of carrying as many as 25 passengers and a crew of four. Authorities have charged a South Carolina trucker with involuntary manslaughter in an incident on a 75-mile stretch of Interstate Route 10 near Fort Hancock in West Texas in which one woman was killed. This is ABC News. A few sporadic incidents of arson were reported during the night in Detroit, but not the widespread flare-up of vandalism that has troubled that city on numerous occasions in the past. By midnight in Detroit, there were more than 370 reported arrests of teenagers for violating the citywide curfew on Saturday and Sunday night. 
A police department spokesman indicated for the most part it was quiet, due in part to the presence of about 10,000 adult volunteers who helped patrol the streets of Detroit to put a damper on youthful spirits. For the ABC Information Network, I'm Joe Vaughn. WWDB. Where did we go wrong as mothers? We tried to teach you to do right, but everywhere we go, there are bottles, cigarette butts, paper, and trash in the streets. We have to stop and think to ourselves, is this the way we brought you up? Can you imagine if everybody littered? Now, the city is growing, it's developing, it's moving forward. Now is the time to put an end to this mess. And you can do it. If you see litter, can it. If you own a business, sweep your sidewalks. Clean up Philadelphia for the thousands of visitors who come here each year. Clean up for your neighbors. Clean up for you. Take pride in a clean Philadelphia by taking part in cleaning up Philadelphia. Your founding fathers would never have stood for this mess. And let me tell you something. Neither do your mothers. Become part of Phila Pride. Do it for your mother. I love hiking in a forest. You know, Robin, forests are more than just great places to go hiking in. They are? Sure. Forests are homes to lots of different animals. We get wood from forests, and they help keep our air and water clean. Gosh. But our forests are threatened by development and people who don't treat them with respect. Yeah. To find out how you can help, write to Forest National Wildlife Federation. Washington, D.C., 20036. How'd you know that address? A Frog Scout's always prepared. Hmm. Everyone can become an organ or tissue donor. The Pennsylvania Medical Society urges you to take the first step. Talk to your loved ones and your family doctor. Find out all you can. Then fill out a donor card. It's what identifies you as a member of our greatest medical reserve, organ and tissue donors. Keep the card with your driver's license, but please, don't keep it to yourself. A message brought to you by the Pennsylvania Medical Society and your local county medical society. We're dedicated to your good health. 96.5 WWDB. We hear you.